Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. Back again in the kitchen with Crock-Pot Dundee. Gonna try something new today. And this was a little bit, so somebody left a comment once said, you know, hey, I'd like for you to try some of your, some of your mother's recipes and, you know, and tell us a little story and, and everything else. And I've been, I've been saving this one uh, for a while now. So years ago, Mom and, and Bucky, this was probably about a year, within a year after they had gotten married, they said, hey, let's go camping. So uh, we went camping. I think we took tents uh, up in the upstate of South Carolina, went up there. And uh, we, uh, w uh, the thing that I remember most about that trip is Mom, of course, we, we did some open air cooking and all that. And mom decided to try to make an up, a, a, a pineapple upside down cake. She didn't try. She succeeded magnificently. I still remember that to this day. So years later, I'm taking my own family out. And we were doing a lot of camping up in the Pacific Northwest. And I, and I said, well, let me, I, I had a Dutch oven that, that I would use and cook a lot. And I would make biscuits with and things like that. It's pretty nice because you just take coals from the fire and put it all over it and it cooks. And I made, uh, I, I replicated it in the, in, the, in the Dutch oven. So I'm going to try that today in the crock pot. See how that turns out. Now I'm cheating a little bit because I'm going to use cake mix because um, I, I, I'm not, not much of a baker dessert guy. So a lot of what I do is, is with the cake mix. So... If you make your own cake mix, it's probably better. By all means, have at it. So I'm going to make this uh, cake mix and, and, and try some different things with the, uh, with the pineapple. Now, so I'm going to flip it around, and uh, we'll be right back. Stand by one. All right, back again. So cake mix, regular old Betty Crocker. Apparently, uh, this is Arabic for Betty Crocker. Can you see that? So... Cake mix goes in. This is the biggest, this is a, uh, I have to use this as a mixing pot. Before you leave comments about nonstick pans and all of that, yes, I know. And I think this thing's been uh, used so much. I think all, any, any of the stuff has been scraped off. So two eggs and a third of a cup of oil, and this should be ready to go. So we'll... And somebody left a comment and said, hey, you know, you really ought to crack uh, the eggs on the counter. It's a lot easier. I tried that. You know, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. It just makes more of a mess. So this is the way I've always done it. I guess I'm getting to the point where I'm an old dog now. Don't want to learn any new tricks. So a third of a cup of oil goes in. And then I'm going to mix this all together. I have a tendency to use too much oil. I think I might have just again a little bit too much. So and I'm gonna kind of mix this up. So yeah I, 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 that's probably my favorite thing. When we ever we go uh, camping that's my thing. I love cooking open air cooking like that over a fire and trying to come up with new recipes and things. Of course, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter loves it because she gets to sit back and eat all the good things that I make. So this, uh, this is just not working, is it? You guys getting all that? Probably document. I'm going to mix this up, turn it around, and I'll be right back. All right, back again. So guess what I was missing? You probably already guessed. I've got the cup of water. <laughs> <laughs> so I mix that in now. It's it's much much better now. See, so looks like batter now. So now I've, what I did, a lot of you have mentioned liners and things like that for the for the crock pot, and I I hear you. I don't. I just have a problem with uh, with using Pam or anything like that, like spray nonstick spray. So I just I kind of grease the inside of this with butter. Now I got a can of pineapple slices, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, this isn't heavy syrup, so I'm gonna save the syrup. 
pour that in this cup here. Very nice. Maybe mix that with some water and have some pineapple juice later. Mm. All right. Well, now we'll put the pineapples in the pot, in the crock pot here. Just kind of line them in and we'll see if they, they all fit. <clears throat> nope. So this is a couple of them. So um, I'll just split these up and just kind of try to cover. So try to cover the bottom like this. I'm going to just put in some extras here because I'd like pineapple. All right. to see any of this go to waste. It won't. I'll end up eating it. Now one uh, one little extra thing I like to do also is just a, can, uh, a little jar of maraschino cherries and just take and drop a cherry in the middle of the hole here of the, of the pineapple slice. Just like that. See that? And drop one in each hole. Probably. I need to get me some ice cream, don't I, to eat these cherries with. Hmm. See? Multitask cooker. That's what I am. So I'm kind of digging the new uh, wireless mic here, too. I can kind of, don't have to worry about leaning in and talking to the microphone anymore. I'm going to just kind of spread some more cherries around because I like them. All right. Yeah, let's go one more here. That looks a little bare right there. Okay, there. That looks pretty, doesn't it? And then I've got this cake mix, and I'm going to just pour this over the top. That's where you get the upside down cake. Now, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to cook it on low for, uh, let me try to get this around here, and just pour it over evenly over the top. Should bake up nicely. Oh, lots of butter. Now, yeah, talk all this talk about camping and cooking makes me miss going camping. Do like it. Oh, bumping things here. Trying not to cover up the camera here. So that's one box of cake mix, and that, that'll do just fine. Now this is going to cook. I'm going to put this on low. I think that's about all I can get out of there. I'm going to put this on low and cook this on low till it's done. Uh, but again, one of the tricks uh, somebody was talking to me about is, is taking a towel, just a regular old hand towel, putting that over the top while it cooks, and that'll soak up a lot of the moisture that comes up, and so it doesn't drip back down on there, and it'll allow the cake to become cakey and not so much like, like a pudding or... Uh, anyway, so I've done that before. I, I like that trick a lot. So it's on low. And it is uh, about, pay attention to the time here, and I'll let you know. So I'll be back again when this is done. We'll check on it, and I'll let you how long it, how long it took. So we'll be right, uh, you'll be right back. It'll, I'll be, it'll probably be a couple hours for me. So stand by one. We'll be right back. All righty. It's been two hours now, cooking it on low. Let's see how this, uh, how this is looking now. So I, 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 I have a hot spot on my on Crock-a-Pot Dundee here. So about an hour into it or so, I, I turned it around uh, just to even out the hot spot. So, uh, and you may, I just know it so well by now. So that, that, this towel caught a lot of the, 
steam and the moisture coming off. See it on the top there and it kept it from dropping back into the keg. So let's see how this kind of turned out here. So Ooh, yeah, look at that. See, now it's, it's, it's cake on the top. So I'm going to just kind of push this down in here and see if it's, if it's done. Yep. Yep. So I'm not getting any batter and it's cakey looking very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top back on this and I'm going to just turn it off and I'm going to let it cool down in the crock pot and, uh, and then I'll come back and I'll uh, serve it up and try it. So uh, we'll be right back. So two hours, two hours is what, what it took. So two hours on low. We'll be right back. Here it is. Look at that. Cooked all the way through, real nice, nice and fluffy. Oh, this is a magnificent experiment that turned out real nice. So let's try it and see how it is. So don't have to worry about it being too hot. Oh. Mm. So this is great for those of you that don't want your kitchen to get too hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful. Oh, that's amazing. This is really good. Nice. Super easy, pineapple upside down cake in the crock pot. This is probably my best yet. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna get the cherry here. This is Steve's size fork here. Mm, 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 mm. I'm kind of digging that. That's good. Turned out wonderful. That's a winner. Hope you enjoy it. Two hours, about an hour and a half, let it cool down. It'll shrink a little bit. All I did was put a plate over the crock pot, turn the crock pot over, and it came out perfect. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised. So, hope you enjoyed it. It's Colonel signing off. See you next time.